Hey guys, it's Rory, and today I'm back with my dad for another reaction video. And today we are going to be doing a reaction to the new Black Midi album. Very excited. It's some more people that we know. I mean, our last video was to Tyler, the creator, who we've met once. And uh, now we're going to listen to our good pals, the Black Midi band. The Black Midi band. That's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> the collective. Yeah, the collective. Or just Black Midi, lowercase. And their album Schlagenheim was one of my favorite albums of 2019 and has now grown up to one of my favorite noise rock albums ever. Yeah. I think it's amazing, like track after track, every single one. I think it's a bit beyond fantastic. noise rock even, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean, it's More, like uh... pushing the boundaries of like noise rock in general and it's very like mathy and definitely um, visceral. A little jazz. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And they go like full fledged uh, on that with this new album, as you know, because you've heard. I've heard. Yeah, you've heard bit. the album. I've heard a bit of it, and for me, yeah, it's I think my favorite of the year, which I've mentioned. But yeah, it's I think a great album, and uh, these guys are incredibly talented. I think the most interesting band that's out there right now, personally, for me. Oh yeah, definitely. But, yeah. They're up there for me. And uh, I'm actually going to get some water. So you speak to the fans. <laughs> Hi, fans. No, I'm not going to do that. I think we're just going to start off with uh, the first track, also the first single off of the album. It's called John L. And I love it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was John L or Jonelle. Jonelle. <laughs> like Janelle Monet. Yeah. Maybe it's a tribute. <laughs> yeah. I love how layered it is. It's good. Yeah, it's genius. I love how layered it is with like the horns and then that classic distorted guitar they're known for. And then Jordy's crazy vocals. I love that little like pause in it too. Yeah. It's very suspenseful, that. this whole song. And I was going to say they're so tight, but you're in studio, so you, you can't really say that. But yeah. They're just so like on point. Yeah, and like live, it's the same thing. Like there's no one that sounds exactly like them. That's what I was yeah. like. To me, it's a progression of, of a lot of other things, but it's like. To me, like the most exciting, interesting stuff that's out there right now. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, listen to this. It's yeah. incredible. Exactly. And I'm going to say it before you, uh, it's a very gang of four. There's a little G-O uh, F in there. Yeah. I'm looking at the cover. Oh yeah, it's a cool cover. I like the cover too. Yeah. Sorry. They always have weird like covers that kind of look like AI generated, just like random things. It's like those photos that uh, make it feel like you're having a stroke, like you can't associate <laughs> anything in it. Have you seen those? Yeah. No, and I, I- I'll edit it in. I don't want those. Yeah, I'll edit it in. I can, I'm old, I could have a stroke. Yeah, just by seeing one of them. Yeah. And the drumming is amazing. What was that song you showed me earlier where he just killed it, the one that was unreleased? No, it wasn't unreleased, it was just a single. It was, it was uh, Crow's Perch. Amazing. Yeah, Crow's Perch is probably like top three Black Midi songs for me. So if any of you fans or the Black Midi boys are seeing this, amazing song. Very underrated. Also, another thing that I really love, uh, well, that was the end of the track, but um, another thing I really love about all their songs, or at least most of them, is a lot of the time, it just ends in like pure chaos and sometimes they even go back but like this one it just like i said gradually got more and more chaotic every time they went around like the chorus i guess is what you could call whatever that uh part where it's just like the words on main street that john's 50 in town or something <laughs> i don't know the lyrics they gotta i need to get a big paper sheet with all the lyrics on it yeah i love a lot of the songs on this album I've only, I've only heard it actually a couple times, but um, <clears throat> I like most songs. I love just what they're doing with music and doing 
uh, for music. Yeah, honestly. definitely. Um, to me, it's like the most interesting stuff out there. But I can't keep saying that over and over. So <laughs> we'll move on. We're going to play uh, Chondro Malakia Patella. That was their third single off of the album. Be right. I think it sounds pretty. Might be Chondromalazia. <laughs> This one's very groovy, even though it's very massive. <laughs> it's crazy. That's a complicated beat. Yeah. yeah. Man. A little change. Yeah, <laughs> which they do a lot throughout all of their music. I personally love. I think there's a couple times, this is the album where a couple times they change it from that sort of super complicated, kind of noisy thing to a kind of smoother, jazzy kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, they do that a lot in this so, album. Yeah, it's different than the other albums in that way a little bit. Yeah, because like with the other ones, it was more like every song had a different vibe. Almost in these ones, it's like every song has a bunch of different sections like put together and uh, flows effortlessly. Then straight back in. And that's what I'm talking about. That's how they just pump it up. Like listen to this, this is crazy. Really pumping up that vocal. I think he's one of the most talented vocalists of our generation. At least a little bit above my generation, but. <laughs> Way below mine. Yeah. <laughs> and that guitar is so cool. It's almost like a synthesized arpeggio, but he's playing that with his real hands and fingers. It's crazy. And then there's the chaos at the end, and. Oh. A minor explosion? Do we get an explosion at the end? No, I'd say. Just a little, uh, I thought it was like half explosion, half circus horn uh, dying in front of our eyes. But I was waiting for that to go hit the ground and blow up. It uh, do no, they don't do that. Okay. Well, in the next song, they pump it up, so it's almost like that's the bomb. Ooh. Ew. Metaphorical bomb with the music. <laughs> what do you mean, you? It's the bomb. <laughs> oh. Now we're using like cheesy <laughs> 80s slang. That song was the bomb. Wow. Thanks yeah. Black Midi for winding us into that slang. <laughs> yeah. But what I love about it is like each one is, um, each person, like each element is so like ahead of anyone else. You know, it's like, the guitar is like amazing. The drums are amazing. The vocals are amazing. Yeah. All of the guitars, the bass, the keyboards. And like, it's they're all doing so well. Incredible things. Yeah, and it corresponds so well. And they're all like extremely talented. Like Yeah. I've not seen anyone be able to play like this, honestly. Yeah, and I think like all of them are using their instruments to like their full extent and just like totally um just going full on with it and not holding back, which I love in musicians like uh, the people of Death Grips and um, Hella, especially Zach Hill, and um, even like other noise rock bands kind of similar to them, like Lightning Bolt. I feel like it still has that similar aggressiveness, but I think um, obviously, I think it's a lot better composed than them. Yeah and in sync and they're all doing this crazy stuff yeah and it all like works together so exactly of, you know? yeah and um so yeah, yeah. Th that's our thoughts on chondro malatia patella <laughs> or however you pronounce that i, I mean that. jordy you have to let us know i think i'm just gonna play one more song uh just because it's another five minute one and uh this is definitely my favorite off the album and honestly, I think this might be my favorite Black Midi song uh, out of all of their songs as of now. And it's called Dethroned, the sixth track. So let's get right into it. I like this very calm uh, introduction. 
kind of bracing you for what's gonna happen, I think. But not mentally preparing, because this song is another crazy song. Also, I love like the slight delay effect on his vocals. It almost gives it like a more like powerful sound, like almost like they're performing it live as we're listening, which we may be experiencing soon if uh, COVID dies down. Hopefully. Yeah. I love that guitar. Yeah, the little down, down. Yeah, exactly. Kind of acid sound. Or even like fuzz. I also love the delay. Yeah, yeah. What? That's the delay effect on the guitar. Or maybe it's a looper. I think it's a delay. But here it is. And here is where they go completely crazy. I know. This is why I love this song so much. I don't know this song as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's exceptional. Oh my god. I know, like how do they make this stuff? I don't think they're human. I genuinely don't think they're human. Can you imagine seeing it live? It's be crazy. I know. Okay, your next task is to try to drum along with this. Yeah. I mean, I guess the only plus is that it's in 4-4 time signature, so I don't think it would be as much of a challenge if I'm just, like, doing some, uh, kind of... <laughs> Casual fills. I yeah, exactly. I don't think you can match Morgan, but... <laughs> yeah. You could play, like, something. <laughs> yeah. I can just do a little, uh, nice snare <laughs> beat <laughs> if all goes, uh, if all else fails. Um, um but yeah, uh, I what did you think of that totally track? I totally agree with you, and like I said, I... I've only listened to the album like once or twice. Yeah. And um, I didn't realize how good that song is. I completely agree with you. Um, at least from the three that we listened to. Yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, sick. Um, Mine too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just the layers and um, they go off in their different directions, but they're all on some sort of same beat which is way too complicated for me to figure out yeah but i'm sure you can yeah but, like, i mean it's just a simple 4-4 four, four beat but a lot of them are doing like kind of syncopated stuff throughout yeah and then like at the end there's just like so many delay pedals and uh all that stuff is almost like drowning in feedback and really like the drums and the bass line i feel are like the only things that are keeping it from like going completely <laughs> off the rails out of control. yeah exactly <laughs> and um yeah like you said i can't wait to see them perform that live if we get to because that is going to be an experience and actually the last time i saw them live and actually got to play with them um it was definitely one of my favorite concerts i've ever been to I have to and agree. definitely one of the most like intense ones just like unrelenting just non-stop and tasteful in my opinion like yeah. it was a great selection of like all of their different work and really showed their versatility and i'd say the same thing uh with this album and like you said a progression off of schlagenheim i give it a nine at least yeah just because of how complicated what they're doing is and it's still got like this punk thing to it for yeah. me like yeah i'm not can I compare it to PIL? Because I, I think they're actually a little beyond what uh, Leiden was doing with that. Yeah. Um, so just like combining their, they have this incredible knowledge of um, playing around time signatures, I think. Yeah. And then all coming back together at the end. Exactly. Like, I don't think there's anybody else out there that can come close to doing that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, these guys are like musically um, the best thing out there in terms of how they play 
and they're doing something cool and interesting. I just think it's fantastic. The most interesting band out there right now. Oh yeah, for honestly. sure. So you're giving it a solid nine? Solid nine. Maybe I think I'm, I'm actually going to agree with you I on that. I have to listen to it again. Yeah, I'm actually going to agree with you on that. I think I'm going to give it a solid nine for those reasons too. What do you think about in terms of its ranking in albums of the year? Because I think it's my number one. You're going to wait? Think, I think honestly it's up there for me. I'm going to wait because so many great releases have come out. Like, especially, um, I mean, before hearing this, my album of the year was Rainbow Bridge 3 by Cemetery, because that album just completely blew me away. Another total progression as an artist, um, and just like one of the most unique hip hop albums I've ever heard. Uh, and definitely up there with one of the most experimental and just like freaky and out there. Um, so I think like both of them are probably nines for me. But uh, once it gets to the end of the year, I'll decide which one's better. Yeah, you say. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reactions like this. And thank you to Black Mitty. Yeah, another amazing album. And can't wait to see you guys again once you come back in town. And, yeah, uh, that's about it. Bye. Bye. Bye.